everybody, welcome back to the 40k game. I got Mike here with his Space Marines yet again. If you remember him last time he was here, he kicked the crap out of me. So, uh, I tweaked my Dark Angels. Let's take a look at the list as it is now. So here is my new Dark Angels list. I just got everything painted up. I d designed this list. I think it might be, I think it might work pretty well, pretty good together. But I haven't played with it yet. It's my first time. I'll try to explain how everything works or my theory of this list. So I have a battalion here with a Sam and a, and a um, Talon Master who will have the Heavenfall Blade. It's actually gonna be my Warlord as well. And the Warlord trait will be Brilliant Strategist. Three units of scouts with heavy bolters um, each. This is a proxy squad because we don't have any, enough painted yet, but I will have them painted for Dark Angel soon. Now, that's here pretty much for, well, they'll be, they're obvious why they're here, but these guys are here for command points because they need a lot of command points for this list. This list is a Vanguard, one, two, three uh, elites, and they have a fast stack and a flyer. So I got Belial here. We have a Apothecary, Terminator Apothecary, Ravenwing Apothecary, 10 man Terminator squad with two cyclone missile launchers, and just bolt guns. Basically, they're here to drop down, shoot, and then shoot again in the first turn. And a 10-man Black Knight squad. I haven't used guys that just got them painted last night. I haven't used them yet. Plasma Talons, they should be pretty killy. Uh, you'll see how everything works together probably on turn one. So I won't spend too much time explaining this, but this is my attempt at a cohesive Dark Angels bring everything together type of list. And Mike's Ultramarines? Use Ultramarines usually, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah use your Ultramarines. So what do we have in here? Three tactical squads, uh, one plaza in each. Nice. Ironclad with flamers, uh, mortis pattern dreadnought. Is he venerable? Eh? Is he venerable? Uh, no. No. Okay. No. Um, apothecary. These are my kit bash aggressors. And they work. They look pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That's not not, not too TBA. You didn't look closer on those guys. Nice. I'm not gonna train. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, sev or uh, send devs uh, grav yep. hurricanes. HQ choice, Land Raider Excelsior, uh, twin LAS cannons, uh, multi melta, graph cannon, and a plasma gun. Yep. Bike squad, sergeant with combi plas and two meltas. Then we have my other HQ choice, which is Cronus in a Pred, Pred auto cannon, twin LAS, and a uh, Inceptor squad. Inceptors. Yeah, and they're just what they are. So, what does Cronus do? So. Essentially, he's just a model that gives uh, a vehicle of your choice a two-up to hit. Oh, okay. With no diminishing stats. And when it dies, he pops out, and he's like a really weak tech marine. Oh, fair enough. I tend to not even put him on the board. He's so bad. <laughs> so who is your Warlord? Warlord is the Excelsior. Can you take a Warlord trait? Probably uh, sure you can, right? Yeah. yeah probably. And uh, the only thing uh, character about this is it's got uh, the rights of battle, so we... Anything within six inches that share the same chapter, reroll. Oh, nice. So we have a yeah. land that has his own rerolls to hit. Yeah, so it's good to keep him sort of punched up. And he's punchy. It's a lot of weapons, a lot of... Yeah, I mean, definitely. Good. How many points is that thing? Oh. That many? Well, hold on. It, it's not a good number. Uh, it's 470. Ooh, that's a good 120 points more than your typical yeah. land raider. Okay. And all these are add-ons, so it, it only comes with... Uh, the lazes and the grav, and then you add these on, so it's gets pretty expensive. Okay, so what uh, what trait are you gonna give them? You give them a book one. The ultramarine one is that command point one. I don't even know. I'm gonna go over them again. See what I want to forget. Fair enough. I, I think yeah. I said it. I'm gonna make sure I said it again. So if I make Belial my warlord, he has a, 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 a specific warlord trait. If Sam is my warlord, he has his own warlord trait, and neither one of them really. I don't want either one of them to be the warlord. Because of the warlord traits, so my lieutenant here, my talent master, will be the warlord because I want him to get command points back in a five plus. Mike is gonna take iron resolve on his land raider, meaning he now ignores sixes. No, sorry, ignores wounds on sixes and gets plus one wound. And he's a character, so it's totally legit. And here we are, fully deployed for front line assault. Let's explain the snap first, and I'll go for all the models. So we have the weird spearhead uh, deployment type uh, hammer anvil, the spearhead. I think it's called spearhead assault. Um, we have to deploy four objective markers outside the deployment zones and inside the deployment zones. So this smoke, that smoke, that smoke, and that smoke are all four objectives. At the end of the game, the ones in here are worth two points, 
and then like that's worth one to me that's worth four to me and that's worth one to mike and that's worth four to mike now mike finished playing first but i'll go through my stuff first i put scouts over here scouts over here all the bikes running characters my flyer and then these three units deep striking character character 10 man squad and then scouts hiding under the wall and mike build up a little castle of centurions aggressors actually they have a lot of shots i gotta deal with them the apothecary is nearby tactical squad sorry yeah tactical squad here two more inside the excelsior yep nailed it bikes hiding reserve predator up next and reserved actually i'm not gonna forget he's there and then the no, he's, yeah sorry these are all there yeah, yeah, no, I'm saying like, yeah. I'm, he's like part of, he's like a blend of the terrain. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to forget he's there. And the more deciding over this side. Now, Mike did finish deploying first. So we got plus one to roll. She goes, well, who gets to go first? You, sir, are going to roll a, a five. I generally keep a die in my hand, but I didn't bring one. So I rolled a two. You had to go first. I'm going to seize. Nope. Nope. Space Marines, third one. Can see. I have seven command points. Marking them right there. And you got six, right onto your movement. Movement. I can speak English. Do you want to move anything? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're gonna advance the ironclad first and foremost. Yes. Get you go uh, nine inches. You move eight, right? Are they slower than regular ones? No, no? the same old speed. Okay. Heading around the corner. The aggressor's gonna start moving forward. Aggressively, you're right. You thank you, Kyle. Yeah, the aggressors <laughs> are being aggressive. And the centurions are going up as well. They don't like this was too risky. And then <laughs> he's just going to go. Keep his, keep his broskies all healed up. And the Land Raider Excelsior. Dun, 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 Right there. Just get that tank trap. Yeah. You know, oh, scratch yeah, up yeah. paint job. And attack the squad on this side of the field. Maybe they're just going to come around here. They're gonna not advance, just walk normally. Yeah. Is that his skinny legs? Oh no, just a weird angle. Well, which one? Don't mind me. I don't know, look like from up oh, here. Oh, the no, the no knee pad one? Is that what it is? No knee pad? Yeah, he's old I'm school. Way out. He's got a strap. Yeah. Look at him. He's legs. old school. He's tiny legs. He's gonna stay put. He's gonna stay put. How about these bikes? I kinda wanna leave Are them. They're playing goalie? Right yeah. Now. Yeah. Alright, hold them in the backfield. They're a nice. Defense in this area. Who knows where I'm gonna go? Yeah, you're right. So I think we're gonna move on to that. Shoot. The aggressors are now gonna fire. They're gonna have six shots a piece into my Black Knights plus D6 each. So here's the three D6. So six. Oh, it's uh, it's fourteen. So fourteen, 14. extra. Whoo. So eighteen, nineteen, twenty, thirty-two. Whoa. Because it's they have two. A crap ton of shots hitting on threes. Not bad for 135 points. No. No. Rerolling ones because the land raider there is the character with the warlord trait that no is the warlord trait that gives him reroll ones. It's just his rights of battle. For oh, rights of battle. He has rights of battle. I yes. gotcha. Yeah. Which is reroll ones for chapter within six. Yeah, which is five ones. It helped a little. Oh. Shooting on fives. With a three up armor save from a black knight. Oh. 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 Where's the prettiest ones? They should go first. Um, dang. Let's take that one. I think this guy's going to go. And then this guy's going to go. Next. What? Who out there? I'm trying to. <laughs> Just make noise. <laughs> I don't know if that came through on camera. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking Wait, about. Wait, what was that? Oh, it was the, never mind. It was, yeah. the, it was the board. Okay. <laughs> Next, the three centurions are going to fire up my black knights. Uh, 12 shots. Yeah, oh, but oh, I gotta, I, just before we end up making a, a mistake. Oh. oh, yeah, they're in. They're yeah, in. they're within six inches. This one's no one cheat now. <laughs> Hitting on threes because they ignore the penalty for heavy, right? Yep. And. We roll on the. Oh, man. The only misses for ones. Oh, this is bad. Everything hit. Force the wound. So. I got a six of save against these. I made three of them. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, the first one does D3 wounds. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, so how many went through? <laughs> Two went through. You gotta do one at a time. First oh. one, D3. Two. Kills a bike, and the second one, kills a bike. Right, only, yeah, only two went through. Yeah. I'm gonna pull these two. Next, the Mortis Dreadnought's gonna fire a number. Is he venerable? Uh, no. Not no, venerable? So this okay. is just threes. He Eight shots do. on threes. Uh, Ooh, bad rolls. Ooh. Not average, or not average, half. 
Uh, well, pretty bad considering it's three up. Yeah. Under and average, but that's okay. Threes. And there we go, three. These are four up saves. Ugh, I can't. Two damage I can't. each. I'm gonna. I'm gonna command point. We're good. Ah, oh, there you go. Only one. We're down to six command points, and this guy will die. We've lost half the squad. Land Raider Excelsior is going to go next. The last cannons are going to go into my flyer. Ignore the Terminators are hiding off the table. And then the Grav, Plasma, and Multimelta into the Scouts. We want to roll first. Oh, we're going to do last first. Last cannons hitting on fours. Uh, Mine's threes. hard to hit. Oh, hard yeah, to hit. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. So How many hit? Uh, it looks like three. Three hits? Is that a bad rule? Not a bad rule. Three's the wound. That is two wounds. Two wounds. I got a six up save. No. 2d6 damage. Five. Five. You want to command point anything there? I'm going to command roll point roll this one. Yeah, using the command point. So uh, I'm going to see if I get the command point back, Ultramarines. I screwed up. I did take that one. Yeah, different so, roll. Yeah, this yeah. is just a straight up command point reroll. Re yep. Uh, hey -oh. so nine wounds, and you're down to five command points. Yes. We're down to one wound. That was a grab into the scouts, hitting on threes. Uh, that's all hits. Nice. This is a hard table to roll, isn't it? Yeah, and it is. threes. Three. Grab is minus three, but plus one save for the cover. There is not camel cloak, so I think they're too expensive. So three are going to die. Womp womp. Plasma gun hits. Wounds. No save. And then the multi belta hits. Wounds. Dead. And that's first blood. Predator is going for the bikes. Because it's the only thing that is in range. Two of the last cans first. Hitting on threes. Two, Two hits. And threes. Right. One. Six up. D6 damage. Two di Well, three damage, but kills one. Yeah. Predator shots. auto cannon. 2d3 two shots. Gaining two shots. Hitting on twos. Is it right? Because yep. Cronus? Because Cronus. Oh. One hit. And that's no re-roll on that. And threes. With a Forp save. We're good. Nailed it. And I actually forgot the Hurricane Boulders from the Centurions. We're going to finish off into the bikes. Eight shots from those Hurricane Boulders. Trading about them. Hitting on threes. Eight? Eight. Eight. I, eight. I say eight. I, say, I meant We're to say eight. Yeah. I meant, say, I, meant, I meant to say 18. I was like, am I, <laughs> I say eight? <laughs> yeah. So eight. I missed count hard. <laughs> 18. <laughs> Hurricane Boulder shots. And re-rolling re ones. Because of that vehicle. It's so good. And fives. Three. One more wound. Oh, that hurts. Oh, uh, buddy, those were hits. Oh, those were hits? Yeah, I remember rolling uh, hits. Right oh, now. sorry. Yeah, so I got, I got them all, though. This was awesome. Uh, these are wounding on fives. So these are wounding on fives. Okay, I already rolled three saves. I failed one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's all I don't want to rob you from that roll. There and you got one, ones. two, three. I owe you one more save. Okay. Didn't matter. And we're down to one. So now at the end of your turn, no morale test because they have inner circle, they automatically pass morale. I've lost six bikes, that's a big deal as they're going on my turn. First thing they're gonna do is they're gonna advance, now they have a four bin from shooting. Um, and it's gonna cost me one command point for speed of the Raven so they can basically shoot and charge and the FAQ now says they ignore the minus one penalty for advancing and shooting with that stratagem. To there. And then I'm going to move up these characters. The Apothecary might as well advance. Oh, um, why did I roll that? It auto advances plus six. To there. And they fly. So they're going to go over the ruins and land in behind. And I already forgot. For that, um, for the re-roll I did, I get the command point back on a five plus. I don't. And for the speed of the Raven strategy, I don't get that one back either. They want them over here. And the wounded... Guy, that's the land back over here, as far as you can go. And I'm gonna drop all my terminators here. Blau's there, Apothecary's there. This Apothecary is now gonna target this squad and heal the wounded guy. He's back up to full, but can't bring anybody back yet. And in the shooting phase, I'm going to activate uh, the Deathwing Assault. It cost me three command points, but on a five plus is my warlord trait, I'll get one command point back. I do. So basically, I'm down to three command points. And now in the shooting phase, they're immediately going to shoot. So I'm going to put uh, missiles into the Predator. 
and all the storm bolters into the aggressors. So here's 40 shots from the storm bolters into the aggressors. Hitting on threes, rerolling everything because of Belial. Well, when you say everything, rerolling ones and twos. And these are the rerolls because of Belial. These are not the greatest of hits. Good to me. And we're wounding on fours. Oh, rerolling ones though, because of the Talon Master. Who's Oh, actually, it does a lot better. And these are three up saves, sir. All right. Six wounds on those three guys. Yep. Okay. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's dropped on. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not. Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah. Oh, so, that's yeah, the other dead. Hold on. I see six bales. <laughs> you could have stopped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that kills the aggressor. Oh, so, hold on. Oh, oh, we're holding on. Because I think it's worth doing the uh, battle rates. So two command points. No. It's for character only. Yeah, there we yeah, yeah. Damn it. Yeah, because we were talking about the battle, yeah. the, the one strategy that works on him, which is crazy. And I didn't want to forget it. Like I do every other. You just, it's constantly stuck in your mind. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, as soon as something dies, I'm going to use that thing on it. And then I was like, no, they're not characters. Negatory. Negatory. So that will be three dead aggressors. Get them off my table! <laughs> <laughs> and the cyclone missiles are going after that predator hitting on fours re-rolling ones and twos because of belial we have three hits wounding on threes oh my goodness re-rolling ones for the talon master and i'm gonna just i'm using a command point to re-roll one of these that's a one do I get the command point back? I do not. That brings me down to two. Five up save for the Predator. No. Want to use like a reroll? It'll be D6 damage. No. Nope. Three damage. Okay. Putting him down to eight. Now that's my movement phase. We're going into my shooting phase, and now they're going to fire for the sh shooting phase. So missiles will again go for the Predator. All the storm bolters. Uh, I guess we'll go after the centurions. Actually, no, we'll come back to that. We're gonna start off with the dark talon because if you, that guy dies, I'll be at a rapid fire range. So, twin, sorry, uh, two hurricane bolters into them first. The big cannon will go after this guy here. Starting off with the hurricane bolters, hitting on fours because they're hitting on fives because he's so wounded, and then strafing one run for plus one to hit ground targets. With fives to wound, we did three whole wounds. Two armor save. Uh, three up on them. No, centurions. Yeah, centurion does minus is three. Two up. You're oh, you're making me check it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it wrong. I'm gonna look stupid. Centurion up. Three two up saves. I would. It was three. Three. <laughs> ah. I yeah. deserve that, I suppose. How many wounds do they have? They four each. No, oh, I'm not even gonna try to guess it. No, there's three. Yeah, three each. Okay. This new One of them is down to three, two, and then the rift gun on the Excelsior will have one shot hitting on a five, uh, minus one for heavy, and then plus one for strafing run. Missed. All right. So the, these guys are gonna go next. They're gonna spend one command point. Bring me down to one. For uh, ancient weaponry, my plasma damage. My plasma will do three damage apiece. I do not get a command point back. Oh, now I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have to use one at a time because I'm gonna overcharge. Starting off with the Huntsmaster, we're hitting on threes because the speed of the Raven means I ignore the penalty for advancing. Next guy over, uh, re-roll for Belial. He's got two hits. Next guy over, two hits, and last guy, everything hit. And wounding on threes. Rerolling ones for the Talon Master. And these are gonna be six up saves. Sorry, no, these are gonna be five up saves because you're a two armor save, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I knew that. <laughs> so they're all dead. Four go through for three damage apiece. Get off my table. <laughs> this heavy bolter's gonna go for the Excelsior on. Alright, it all missed. 
my apothecary is going to target that apothecary, and uh, we advance, or minus one hit with the assault weapons. We'll be hitting on fours with the two assault guns, not supercharging, obviously. Uh, we roll ones and twos because Belial, but not threes. And we wound on threes. Not We roll ones, but not twos. So we're going to go to my Deathwing squad, and they're going to fire in the shooting phase. You guys don't have to stop talking when the camera goes on. I can talk loud. They, they, can, they can hear me. <laughs> so uh, they're going to fire their twin, uh, sorry, their storm bolters at the Land Raider, because why not? And the missiles are again going after the Predator. So we'll do the missiles first. Uh, hitting on fours, because they're heavy weapons, the attack count is moving. Rerolling ones and twos, because Belial. I don't... That makes... <laughs> wow. And the storm bolters will go into the land raider now. I'll do these four times. Hitting on threes, rerolling ones and twos. That looked like I was shooting just dumping dice. I didn't want to drop them. <laughs> I thought that was a clear dice dump. We have no wounds in the first volley. Because we're wounding on sixes. Second volley. Oh, I forgot to roll ones, but don't worry about it. Second volley, hitting on threes, rerolling ones and twos. And we're wounding on sixes. And we're rerolling the ones. So we have none. Third volley, hitting on threes, rerolling ones and twos because of Belial, the chapter master. And then we are wounding on sixes. We have three, rerolling these two ones. You know they're supposed to load like actual <laughs> bullets in these things. I know it. Eh? <laughs> and the fourth volley, hitting on threes, rerolling ones and twos, wounding on sixes. Oh, oh. Getting two more, rerolling these ones. So five wounds on that Land Raider, two up save. Made, whoa, one goes through. Uh, hold on, six up, ignore. Oh, ignore the damage on six. This is a Warlord trait, no. Does he have more wounds than a regular Land Raider? Uh, he has one more because of that trait. Oh, because of the trait, so he's down to 16. Yeah, he's uh, down to, so we can just say he's down to what he's supposed to be at. Yeah, now. yeah. We're gonna put Sam here. His two Storm Bolters will go after the tank. Uh, his Plasma Cannon will go after that guy. Plasma Cannon, D3 shots, one shot, hitting on three, uh, re-rolling. Actually, we'll be hitting on enough. Yeah, hitting on three. So that hits, and fours the wound. No. And then it's two Storm Bolters, hitting on twos, and wounding on, oh, too many, sixes, re-rolling the one. Nothing. Next, the Dark Talon himself, going after the Predator. Starting off with the twin heavy bolter, hitting on th fours, rerolling ones and twos, because it's minus one for heavy, and then fives, rerolling ones to wound, no wounds. Then we'll do the, oh, the twin assault cannon. I thought maybe one would be in range, which she's in range, got the check for declared, and we're hitting off fours with this gun, rerolling ones and twos, because it's a heavy weapon, and we reroll everything. And not a bad amount of hits, but we're still wounding on fives because it's only strength six. And we have two at minus one, so four up save for the predator. It takes nope. one wound. Bring them down to six. No, sorry, seven. I can do math. Okay, that's my shooting phase. We're gonna charge. <laughs> we're gonna send the black knights in over at this land raider. Okay. So you wanna do last chance first? Yeah. Just... Hitting on sixes. We rolling ones. Yeah. Uh oh. oh. There's, a hit. There's a hit. Three re rolls. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. oh. oh my goodness. Uh, wounding on threes. This reminds you of something? This is bad. My black nature is taking it. Three. Well, we did spend Speed of the Ravens. So we have four bin bolt. Oh. oh. D6 wow. damage. Six. Nice. Kills one. This guy. Then uh, we'll do Grav Cannon. Grav Cannon. Four shots on sixes. Uh, and, rolling ones. Oh yeah. Somebody dropped a dookie. <laughs> uh, plasma can? Plasma gun? Two shots? Yeah. Or you uh, might want to do the Melta first, actually. Yeah, Melta. Melta. And yes. then uh, plasma gun. Hit. Yeah. And three. Nope. And their charge rage is nine. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, we're going to go here. Because I want to keep him like that for rerolls and junk. We are then going to send in the Deathwing. Hmm. Not enough. I'm going to need a command point. I need a four plus. Not nope. Enough. I got my command point back. 
Nope, I'm on command points. That went through fast. We're gonna do the Talon Master. Mm, probably not. And then we'll send in Sam. Yeah, got plenty. He's gonna go, whoa, right here. And we'll do Belial. Eight is not gonna make it. I'm gonna start off with the Black Knights. I'm gonna, uh, like that. I'm gonna say that. And we are going to hit the Land Raider on threes. Rerolling ones and twos. And our Carver's Hammers are plus one strength, so we're wounding on fives. And we have one at minus one. Three up armor save. Made, made it. it. Now, because I rolled a six, that would have been D3 damage, but negatory. So next we go to Belial. I mean, not Belial. Sam. Sam has five attacks. Uh, his weapon is uh, like plus one strength. Unless I charge and it's strength times two. So a lot of people say it's strength ten. It's not. It's either strength five or strength eight. So hitting on twos. Rerolling for himself. And strength eight on the charge. So we're looking for fours. Not a single one with a rerolling one. Rerolling ones. We have one. So I have a five up save against that. And you take two damage. Uh, ignore on a six. Yeah, ignore on a six. And the other one? There's two damage. You're taking one damage. You're down to 15. 15. And that concludes my turn as we go into turn two for you, sir. Sparse Marines. Sparse Marines. You know, you can attack back. Yeah! Six attacks on sixes. <laughs> Who do you want to target? <laughs> Six attacks. Oh my god. Yeah, you'll attack Land Raider. Who do you want to target? Uh, the, the shitty bikes. Shitty bikes? They're amazing bikes. Two hits. Uh, we're on threes. Two wounds. Half, half, half. One wound. Down to one. Okay, now it's your turn. One dreadnought coming forward. Actually, it's gonna advance, get an additional five inches. Marines are gonna come around the corner. On this side, getting ready to look at some important things. Just right there. Bikes are gonna scoot on forward. Oh, that'll count as a casualty, sir. The Predator and Mortis want to stay put. The Excelsior is deciding to stay in combat uh, and hold them down. So we're going to go drop some... In in, in, inter, in, inter, 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 inceptors. Inceptors. Yeah, incestors. I know, I know. Like, I why? Know. Like, why would they do that? They're incestors. I don't Interceptors. Why not call them, like, awesome jump dudes? Right? Instead of some weird name. Uh, well, apparently it's a real word. Oh, I don't doubt it, but it's still a stupid word. I know. I, I, did, I, I love a games workshop, but come on. <laughs> and they're dropping back here, ready to go for an objective, but clearing my scouts. We're trying to clear my scouts off of it. Nothing to do in the psychic phase. We go on to the shooting phase. The Ironclad is going to put his heavy flamers into my flyer. 2d6 auto hits. 8, 6 hits. Wounding on fives. 1. Uh, four up, say 50 50. I'm dead. Oh, I'm alive. Oh, I when he advanced up there, I was terrified actually. This thing's just steel, he's relatively effective, even down at one, uh, one wound. He's still pretty effective with his horde killing guns. The apothecary is just within range. Hit my flyer with his pistol, hitting on a four and wounding on a five. I go down to, oh, my oh, goodness. Oh. I decided this this thought that I'm going to go down to a pistol. <laughs> no good targets to shoot. No targets to shoot in range, like they can yeah. see. So we're going over the Predator. And he's going to go for that. So, uh, I made a mistake here. This thing was going to fall back. I, I actually get, I misunderstood a question, and I gave bad information. The Predator wants to target these bikes. Um, so that's why he had to fall back. That makes complete sense. I was actually was confused. I thought he had some sort of master plan of leaving him in, but I understand. Yeah. I understand. It makes sense now yeah. that I, I, yeah, it makes sense now. I when thought we're talking that about. <laughs> with them being locked in combat, I could target a character behind. Yeah, them. Yeah, no, we were, and, you, we were. This is exactly the question he asked me, but I misunderstood the question. I gave him bad information. That was like, that's why I was like, why are you trying to keep him in? Yeah. So like, what, what do I know about this thing? Okay, that makes sense now. So the predator is going for them. Okay, and uh, the, all so the guns. Yeah, and knowing that, like, I, I was, my either tactic was to keep them in to, so I could shoot back there, or back them out and go 
Ugh, with the Marines that's in there. Oh yeah, you can grab the so Marines. So how far? Oh, you have Marines in there. Yeah. So how yeah, far you, back you, you can get, I you, go? You're fine. You get them out. Yeah, you get them okay. out on both sides. So guys, I'm gonna let this all happen on camera because um, I was I answered a question. Like, I gave Mike bad information. It, 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 everybody's watching. This completely makes sense that they would get out and do this. So you'd have to get out before you move your land raider. So you can't be in this spot. Oh, so you're yeah. gonna be on both sides. Yeah, I'll just put them right on the This makes here. yeah. There you go. This makes so far that's more my sense. Bad. That's, I, I should. Know like, I'm trying to figure out like, what 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 tactic am I missing? Am I what I seeing something? Well, but this yeah, ma this I makes thought... yeah. This yeah, makes sure sense now. Making those stupid decisions, Mike. <laughs> oh like, well. Like, I'm like thinking like maybe this thing has some sort of stupid rule. It can, can shoot things that's in combat with. Like, did I charge it for no reason? Yeah. No. There we go. So we fixed the state of the game. Everything makes sense now. I know people are watching. Like, what the heck? Now it makes sense. My bad, guys. Yeah. So the predator is not firing. First, we're gonna fire. A well, which one? Does it matter which one? I do them both at the same time because they're one's not gonna kill the whole unit of fights. That's fair. So do the two. Uh, uh maybe you should, should do them separately, yeah, so, one, it's possible. Yeah. Because I have a wounded bike here. Yeah, so eight bolt gun shots, and then you know, white the... Eight bolt gun shots we fired first, and then the plasma gun we fired. Which we'll roll all together. Fire. Yeah. So there we go. Ah. Hitting on threes. Rerolling ones because of the Land Raider Excelsior. Two more hits. And we're wounding on fives and threes. So, okay. nope. Versus... We lose a bike. Hook. Next squad over is going to give her a go. Exact same. Thing. Hitting on threes. Rerolling those two ones. Everything else. Not bad. And nobody knows yet. <laughs> and we're winning on threes and fives. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have one uh, wound. And nothing from the bolt guns. So just a four up invuln from my uh, advancing. And we're good. Nailed it. Bikes are going to fire. These two are in range of Sam, so they're going to fire at him. So we're going to do the bolt guns first. There's uh, four of them. Yeah, These are in rapid. Yeah, you're oh, there. sorry, it'd be six shots because one's not in rapid. Who, who burped? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So with the bolt gun, we have uh, four, eight, ten shots. Because he's in range. Oh my god, rapid. that is so bad. <laughs> he got the Pepsi burps <laughs> in here. It was not it was you're holding the can. The only way it could be worse if you ate a sausage first or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hitting on threes. Oh. Uh, Rerolling ones. Oh. <laughs> you guys don't hey want to be in the room right now. We <laughs> get nine hits. I don't know what you guys are playing about. <laughs> Wounding <laughs> on fives. I wanted to be inside your stomach. <laughs> <gasps> One. Three up save or two up save? I think it's only three up. But we make a four up save. Yeah. And then we have a melt gun. What up next? Hit. No wound. And um, I might, yeah, command. I might re-roll that. Reroll that with a command point. Yep. Wound. Four been vuln. Good. Well, whatever. And, <laughs> and plasma gun we're, we're gonna supercharge this. Yep. You can supercharge it for real? Yeah, for okay. reals, bro, because he's re-rolling ones right now. That's fair. Hitting on threes. There you go. There we go. Wounding on threes. There you go. Four bin vuln. One goes through for two damage. Down to four. Buddy, that burp. <laughs> You're gonna be okay, buddy. You're gonna be okay. You got plenty of backup. And these th five can target these bikes and pretty much that and maybe my fly. Yeah, so four bolt guns first. Four bolt guns. Uh, two hits and fives. One. We're good. All right, and then uh, plasma. The yeah. Plasma. Getting a hit. hit. No Nothing. Way. Now it's the predator oh, side. This I gotta really make up my mind here. Um, I Two last cannons on the Talon. Predator auto kin on my huntman, or not my huntman, my uh, black knights. All right, and it's two d three. Two d three shots. Five Sorry. shots. Still hitting on threes because I didn't even wound him. Really. Uh, twos because he's Chronos. Oh, it's right, Chronos. Everything yeah. hit. And threes. Oh, buddy. Oh, come on. Man. Four up save. Make one fail one, you're dead. And Blaz is hitting on threes because of no. Twos. Oh, hard to, hit, yeah, hard to hit. Yeah, hard to hit. Two hits. Oh, we're alive. We are alive. Mortis is going to put one of his guns into my Black Knight Huntsman and then one into my Flyer, which we're going to roll first. He's a sketchy move. Which you didn't agree. Uh, if you get them both, though, Flyer first. Flyer first. Hitting on fours. Ooh, and wounding on threes. 
Ooh. Okay, okay, into my Black Knight. At so, least. so far it wouldn't have mattered because I wouldn't have done no damage anything, right? Yeah. And... He is not really that sketchy if you think about it. Okay, on so threes. Three. All right. And threes. Oh! Four up in Vaughn or armor save. We're alive. We're alive. We're alive, Mike. Look yeah. at we're alive. Yeah. I, can, I can relax my bow. Yeah. All of these douchebags are going to go knock off my scouts. All right. 18 shots into my scouts, hitting on threes. Threes to wound. Oh, oh. What are you doing, well, buddy? that's still pretty good. I have a four up armor, minus one to five up. And four die. Ah! Knocked over my tree. That's not a missile launcher, it's a heavy bolter. <laughs> We're going to get you with it. Pop here is going to charge my hunt master. I'm going to overwatch, and I miss. Oh, I'm going to reroll. I miss. And you're in. Ooh. That's when I roll a 10. Anybody else? Yep. Uh, these the brains are going to go in. They're going to go into the, the biker. Nice. And it's, you're in. Yeah. Sam's just going to wait. He's just going to watch this happen. Can all five of them fight? Okay, there you go. Backing up slightly so Sam can't heroically intervene. These five Marines are going to charge Sam. We were questioning it, but basically he's trying to keep Sam from being able to charge the Land Raider next yes, turn. So I can go. Not a terrible idea. So we're going to Overwatch. Starting off with his Storm Bolters, hitting on sixes, re-rolling. We have two hits, wounding on fours, one wound, three up save. You're good. And the Plasma, one shot, hitting on a six, re-rolling, nothing. A plasma cannon underneath him. Yeah, he comes with a plasma cannon and two storm boulders. Charge distance is gonna be. Oh, that's oh, plenty yeah, enough. That in. Oh, yeah, that's plenty. That's lots. All right. I only have five attacks that you all have to hit and you all have to wound. Yeah, I'm thinking you have. Yeah, one. and then you have to give like six up saves. I think it'll hold him up. Yeah. What I... <laughs> Your beard got caught in the tree or the train. <laughs> yeah, it did. And they're gonna charge a last scout. Let's Overwatch. Nope. Look over that nine. Use a command point? Try to get them in? I think I've already re-rolled, haven't I? Uh, in the charge phase? No. Oh, well then I may as well give her a go here. Looking for a four plus. And they're in. Uh, so this has always been debated. I'm at least nine away. Yeah, but you, you only have to charge within one of me. But if, oh, sorry, am uh, I in the theoretical, which side of the theoretical line am I on, right? Am I like a fraction of a... No, because you have to be more than nine away, right? And you rolled a nine? So you're only 9.1 away from me. Gotcha. So and you, you only have to be within one. Inch. Yeah. Gotcha. So an eight would fail. An eight would, would fail. Yeah, totally. I'll make sure I'm not cheating. That's fair. That's fair. But you might just kill me right now if you roll three dice on yeah. a six and you, you do a mortal wound. You might as well do it now. Yeah, yeah. No. All right. You, you, you got to fight me. Yeah, do it a long way. <laughs> I can't interrupt. I have no command points left. So might as well start right here. That and all the charges go first. Well, I could have. Like, you could have did one and then I could interrupt your charges. But I have no command points to do so. Yeah. Blue them all. I, I know. I'm. I. I have. I like my list. I have some thoughts after the. I don't think I'll take that charge. That that order trait anymore. I think the reroll the charge would be more important. But we'll talk yeah, about it later. Yeah, you did fail. Yeah, I don't know if it was yeah. overly necessary. Ah, but yeah, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. Um, two decks piece is it? Uh, and three for the charge, I believe. Nice. So One, for two, seven attacks. Yeah. Three's the hit. And four's the wound. Getting two. He did. All right. You got them. You can consolidate towards Retro Raiders and harass them or go to hide and hold that objective. So we're going to combat over here. We have six attacks against Sam, hitting on threes from the five models. Uh, we're only one, but if it's close enough. And five's the wound. Oh. One. Made my save. Six attacks in my bike over here. Into that one. Yep, I'm, very, <laughs> oh, I'm having a rough goal. Hitting on threes. And looking for a five. Two. Two. Oh, you wounded him. So yeah. he's on a one wound. And your pop carry. What are they? Three decks. Hitting on threes. And looking for a five. No, he's going to live. Well, it is my turn to go around. I'll just do my hunt, ma hunt master. I think we're going to go after the unit. Yeah, I'll go after the unit of Space Marines that are right in front of him. He's got three attacks. Hitting on threes. Everything hit. He'll be wounding on threes. 
everything wound. Minus one to save because it's a Corvus hammer. So three, four up armor saves for those Marines. One, two die. That's actually pretty good. So two Marines go down and then we go to Sam and he will fight. He's got five attacks hitting on twos, re-rolling. And he'll be wounding on threes, re-rolling ones. Three wounds, six up save. And two go down. Did as many as my Huntmaster, leaving three left. Morale for them on a six, one can flee. You roll two dice and you roll two sixes because you have to re-roll it. So boxcars, one will flee, nope. And then the next squad over, boxcars, one will flee, nope. So we're gonna start moving the scouts this way. Actually, the heavy bolter will stay put. I try to get shots on models downfield. I'm gonna stay put and drop into hover. He's gonna stay put. This guy is gonna come up to here. Mm, a little farther. Oh, can't, we can't do that. We can't field. do that. Yeah. Well, there. Shooting face. Belial is coming up. And then we're gonna start moving Terminators. And then this is Apothecary will advance. Because I need a lot more. Nope, six is probably not gonna do anything good for me. No. Sam is gonna fall back to here. I just want this guy to come on this side. This will this will make it work. And we're gonna follow this guy back because he's not need to be there no more. Actually, he'll come around the corner this way. Nope, nope, he's gotta stay close to this apothecary. Okay, end of the movement phase. This apothecary will heal him back up to full. And this apothecary will heal Sam. D3, oh, only one. He's up to five. Shooting time, my non-move, the guy didn't move, my talent master's going after these guys, trying to put them down. We will be hitting on, with the assault cannons, threes. We didn't move. Sam stayed within six to reroll ones and twos because only half of mine hit. Oh. And we're wounding on threes. Rerolling ones from himself. So four, five wounds, minus one, four bars head. Oh. Two fully die. And then the heavy twin heavy bolters. We're hitting on threes, re-rolling ones and twos, and wounding on fours, re-rolling ones. So three more four up armor saves because it's minus one. And down he goes. I had to go after them. They were gonna get scored four points out of the game. So now these scouts underneath my flyer. I'm gonna pump into these guys. Oh, the heavy bolter first on threes and threes one so four up save oh just two just two, oh, just, just two? Yeah. yeah one marine dies over here and the bolt guns threes and that's a little too cocked and wounding on fours one more three bomber save you're good I'm gonna do my Dark Talon next. We're gonna pump everything into the Dreadnought. We're gonna start off with the Rift Cannon, hitting on fives, because I didn't move, and fours for a strafing run. D3 shots, one, that hit, and wound, uh, six up save, because minus three. You're gonna take three damage. And then I roll die for the chart, because I will possibly do mortal wounds to you. And one will definitely be a fail, so only three damage. And the two hurricane bolters hitting on fours, wounding on fives. Ooh, two, three of armor saves. Just no way, Peter's Vulcans. One more, he's down to a four. So he, I think he's T8. I was actually wounding on sixes, not fives, because he's toughness eight. Good thing I rolled actually sixes, so one more wound. Yeah, down to four. Four wounds still puts them too, too strong. So we're going to go on to this unit here. We're going to put them, hmm, four wounds. I put both missiles into them. All right, we're going to come back to them. We're going to do Sam. He's going to fire into these guys. He can because he has fly. Two storm bolters. 
on twos and fours. Rerolling one because they stay within six. And these are three of armor saves. Oh, two. two die, and then the plasma cannon. Be two shots on twos and threes. Two more six of saves. I was doing before this side. So, so three die total. This apothecary is going to fire at that squad. Two shots on threes and fours. One wound on those three Marines with a three up. They're good. Belial is going to fire at these ones. Actually, it's just a storm boulder. It's a regular weapon. Hitting on one twos and fours. Uh, three three up saves. Those two Marines. One more goes down. The Apothecary is in a fire under this guy. Hitting on threes. And threes. Nah, Two bro. six up saves. Oh. Okay. This is my off. Clears my lane. Giving me some time to make some proper decisions. I think we're going to do missiles into that Dreadnought. I gotta put them down. Uh, then we're going to put the Storm Bolters. We're going to spread these around a little bit. We're going to go five into these two and then five into those two. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Sorry, five into those three and then five into these two, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, after we divide which five we're going to wear, uh, everybody's going to be rapid fire. So we'll do the five against these two Marines first, hitting on threes. Rerolling ones and twos because Belial's nearby. Belial. These dice don't roll well. Matthew, your dice don't roll well. Uh, here, I'll do these in halves. Wounding on fours. Wounding on fours, rerolling one for the Talon Master. Three up save for those two Marines. Uh, one. Only one dies. Uh, just I'm going to assume this guy? Yeah, the non plasma. Yeah. And then other five in those three Marines. On threes, rerolling ones and twos because of Belial. 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 Wounding on fours. Oh, buddy. Rerolling these ones for the Talon Master. And the three up save. So we lose. We got him. Just enough. Four missiles into that dreadnought on fours because we moved. Oh. And fours. Rerolling ones. Uh, five up save. Five up save. Whew! How I many wounds you got left? I'm gonna, uh, command point. Command point. Oh, that was oh close. How many command points you got left? Uh, three. Three? How many wounds you got left? Uh, I'm not telling you. Just roll the die. You son of a bitch. We got him! Okay, we're getting really lucky here. Get him off that objective. Scouts are nearby. We did a lot of work, but what is most, I know, ready to flip the whole thing. What is most important is a seven inch charge that's gonna come up right now. Terminators are going after your land raider. Where? <laughs> <Last> <laughs> so four last cannons. Negatory, and what's next? Ah, uh, grav cannon. Grav cannon. Oh, well, we got one. one. Three's the wound. Okay. Uh, plasma. Yep. No, no melt, the, melt the first. Makes more sense to melt the first. Okay. Oh, oh reroll ones. ones. Yeah, reroll yeah. ones. No. Nope. And plasma. plasma. No. Okay. Give me that seven. Oh. Huh. Huh. Okay. I don't know how many I'm going to get in, but at least I'm going to stop you from firing and it gets me up the field, which is the big deal. Ending up like that. Poth in the back. Belial's going to go after that duder. Overwatch. Overwatch pistol. No. All right, Belial, roll high. Six will do. And actually, I'm not gonna go all the way with Belial. Uh, this apothecary is gonna charge. Uh, the same thing. That's very cocked. Just because I wanna get him to protect Belial from getting shot. And he can't charge, he can. Let's send him in. I don't need the Warlord no more, so we'll go after the tank. Now, his weapon will be wounding on fives. I think maybe we'll just stay put. He can no charge, so you can interrupt. I don't think it'll matter. So I'll do the apothecary first who will pile in this way and then make contact. 
Make sure Blau's not quite there yet. Three attacks from the apothecary. And hey, two wounds. Three up save on that apothecary. My apothecary to yours. I healed you, or I did damage with my needle. Yeah, so he's down to one. Yeah. Blau's gonna go next. He's gonna pile in this way. I wanna keep everybody. Actually, you won't really. Nope, he's gonna stay here. He's gonna stay there. And he'll just do his decks. I don't need him to actually do anything. Belial, the Sword of Secrets, hits on twos. Always wounds on twos unless it's a vehicle. And these will be six up saves. And two damage piece that finishes him. Am I gonna consolidate? I am gonna consolidate closer to the Land Raider. And then my Terminator's gonna go. I'm gonna pile them in. See if I can get them all in range. We're gonna start off with the Power Sword because that's what I wanted in combat. Hitting on threes and sixes. You really want? No, not really. Actually, I should have left him there. Not re-rolling ones. I didn't get it. And he'll do the power fist. So power fist will be hitting on fours. And we're gonna re-roll ones and twos. We're gonna take these crappy. Let's re-roll that first. And then we're gonna re-roll these ones and twos, not threes. I think you need to change that in the game, but that's a whole separate discussion. And we got a fair amount of hits. You are toughness eight. We are looking for force to wound. And I think anything here is gravy. I just want you to stop shooting at me. Yeah. Rerolling ones for no extra help. All right, so it's gonna be a four. Four, five up saves. All right, three, and, yeah, three, three D three. Up. Feel no pain basically. Well, no, I gotta do the damage first. Oh. Yeah, because they're not set. Gotcha. These are D threes. So three, four, five, six, seven wounds. Okay. That you ignore on a six. For the roller trait. Yeah. So, oh, picking five. All right. Punching it down to ten. I need to fight back. Six stacks coming back. Hitting on six is nope. Morale time. I uh, lost four models, and you're good. That Sarge, he ain't afraid of nothing. But Sam's right there. He's pretty. So sick. the brave, brave captain here is gonna face down. Can't afraid no ghosts. Can't afraid no ghosts. Blake's these coming guys around the corner. Gonna... Blake zoom around the corner, facing down Samuel as well. Stupid predator's gonna stay put. He's safe there. He's got a good line sight and range and everything. He's gonna stay put as well. Who's gonna fire first? Nah, he's gonna fire first. Overcharging. Overcharging. Yeah. Two shots on threes. Hoo hoo hoo. And threes. One. Four up. Oh, two wounds. He's down to three. He's down to three. And then this unit, we're gonna overcharge as well. Well, you can fire the Meltas first. Yeah, true. And true. then maybe not have to overcharge your Meltas. Yeah, so Meltas first. Yeah, you're threes. right. Threes. Two hits and threes. That's, yeah, threes. Uh oh. Four bin bomb. <laughs> no way. You wanna try the bolt guns first? Because this is like gonna be four yeah, 12 true. shots. Oh my god, yes. 12 shots from those bolt guns into Sam. Hitting on threes. <laughs> Only three misses. Looking for fives. You can hold on, buddy. You can hold on. You can and so enough to three. kill him. Whiff, 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 whiff. Oh, we make all those saves. Yep. So yeah. I'm gonna have to overcharge. Overcharge the bolt gun. Oh, that dice is gone. And it's gone forever. Two shots on threes. He did. Want to use a command command point? Ooh, or not yes. last. I guess you got. Three. Well, I got. I got uh, yeah, I got a few more. But yeah, I'm gonna reroll. Command that point one. that one. Oh god. Oh, oh that's better. Okay. Threes. Oh, dude. You got. Oh, dude. Oh. Two overcharged plasma guns, 12 bolt gun shots, two melt the guns. You're the boss. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Just. Oh. So, what dude. Do you do? Dude. What? The mortar's going to put one of his guns into my apothecary on the bike and then one to the fly reload roll first. I'll do bike first. Bike on threes. Oh, my wow. God. All right. Well, okay. Those well, dice can't suck twice, can that's they? That's, that's my theory. Hitting on threes in the flyer oh because I hovered. Yep. Okay. Threes to wound. Threes. To, oh. So yeah. Here we go. Here Two we go. Two four up saves. Here they no. go. No, I'm I'm double dead. Thank you. Do it. Do, do I explode? I do not. No. But he is done. My the target. predator only has one target. This guy right here, unfortunately. There are too many characters in this list. Literally. So 2D3 uh, Pred Cannon. 
Getting uh, so three shots. Three. Yeah. Threes. Um, yeah, all three hit though. Oh, sorry, two's right. And you always say that. I always say. I always say that. You always say that. Uh oh. Oh, he did. He gone spook. There's that big old ten man Black Knight squad dead, but they did their job. Dead. Uh, assault phase. This captain's gonna charge Sam, who knocked over a wall. Let's do storm. Actually, do plasma cannon. One shot. That misses. Rerolls it. It hits. Wounds. Six up save. Oh, you're good. Ah! <laughs> two storm bolters. Here's the first one. Two hits. Rerolling. He's good. He's good. Yeah. He's good. And the second one. One sec. Rerolling. I gotta roll my wounds first. You just jump in the gun. Wounding on force with two that hit. Two wounds. Three up save. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> All right. And this guy's just like the hero. He's in. I'm down to three wounds, Boom. not six. You knocked me to six? Yeah, you're... Dead. I got three wounds. I'll take Boom. the three. All right, and then... Uh, Bikes are going to go in as well. They in. Yeah, they in. The captain's going to swing first. He's actually... He's, he's just... He's not even the captain. He's uh, just, sorry, sorry, sergeant. He's a special weapons uh, marine. Thank special weapons. Much. Okay, you can roll everything... Just roll everything together, because I can't interrupt you. The dice is gone forever. <laughs> <laughs> so four models will have six attacks. Okay. There's so many guys... This table dice, is dice by under dice. the table. So, yeah, six dice. And... Three's the hit. Yeah, not too bad. Five's the wound. Uh oh Two. One wound. I'm down to two. And... Oh, that's it. Okay, and then your pick would be your land raider. Just yeah. might as well do that next. Six, Six attacks still. Nothing. All right, your turn. All right, let's get Sam out of the way. Let's put everything into the bikes. Hitting, yeah, on the bikes. Hitting on twos, re-rolling because he's Sam. Okay, and fours, re-rolling ones. Uh, minus three. Six up save. All right. Okay. So. All right. And then. I thought he was good in combat. It is on I. <laughs> then my terminators will go. And we'll continue this pile in. I should have consolidated before. Get them all in. But this time we got more attacks coming in. Maybe not actually. He goes here and he goes here. Yeah, I'm still going to be shy one. So one guy won't be attacking. Power sword. And sixes. Not really ones because I walked away from my vehicle. And then power fists. Hitting on fours. Uh, it's one. And we're going to re-roll the ones and twos. Because Belial's nearby. Belial. Uh, only three, th three threes is a lot. We got way less hits than I should have. But that helps with a lot more. Thank you, Belial. And fours. Not re-rolling ones because we walked away. And five saves. Oh. Okay. These are gonna be D3 a piece. Oh, oh three, six, nine, good. 12 yeah. wounds. That you ignore on sixes, you need three sixes to five. You got two. Good game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Letting it go there. You just wanna go drink. Let her go. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to go, okay, well, uh, go lick my wounds with the beard. Do you want to see if she explodes? Actually, yes. See if we can kill one more Terminator? No. No. No, no but that will free me face. to get uh, big guns on Predator and... Yeah, I yeah, think I, I got... Now I got left, you. Right? Yeah, I got you now. Because uh, they're going to stay locked up forever until you lean them down. Yeah, Blyle walks over, helps out combat. Them, yeah, yeah, I got it. All right, yeah. dude. So... I like my list. It dealt, unfortunately, I didn't expect it to, but near the end there, a lot of that character shenanigans crap that I hate. Yeah, man, total but the characters are, void, right? Yeah, the characters aren't there to be shenanigans. Like, Blau's there to help my Terminators re-roll because power fists are hard to hit. Sam's there to help my Plasma Talons re-roll because, you know, Plasma's yeah. re-rolling. The uh, Apothecaries are there to keep the very expensive Death Stars alive. Yeah. And the, the Talons there because I need a third character for the second detachment, so I have all my command points, and he has to re-roll the one. So it wasn't meant to be a um, a character stack, yeah. other than they were there for my detachments. I have minimum amount of characters, plus two more for the apothecaries. So if you, you remove the scouts from the scenario, because they're really not meant for anything but holding a point, maybe, yeah. right? you have a two-to-one ratio for characters to, to actual blobs of guys walking yep. around. It's insane. Yep. And yeah, it is people nuts. People watching should have been like, 
why isn't he shooting that thing? Yeah. Because I can't. The character shenanigan thing is, is, is my See. least favorite thing. I, I love eight, but it's my least favorite thing about it. Yeah. It needs to be addressed. But it should I definitely be a closer in bubble. Well, or, there uh, is a very simple fix, in my opinion. If you're yeah. a character, if you're within three inches of like a, uh, a similar type of unit, like a bike or infantry unit, you can't be targeted. But if you're only open, you should be targeted. Yeah, because what they've done is they've removed the Death Stars from 7th and made them in invincible Death Stars in 8th, basically, with, with characters, right? With wound shenanigans. Yeah. Or, 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 sorry, target shenanigans. Yeah, because they're just... Like, even these guys, like, right in the open, they're closer, right? I can't deal any damage to them at all. It, is, it was... I wouldn't, yeah, when I was watching try to pick targets, and yeah, you're right, I, I didn't... It's a it's a part of the part of the list I could have used, I could have tried to explain it more, but I think I just luckily stumbled into good yeah. protections. Because uh, if I could have shot that, got rid of that, the talon, yeah, yeah, but I literally can't. It's behind a wall. It's it's invincible. Nothing, yeah. nothing I have can yeah. touch it. Now let's. I would, I would talk about a couple things that would change in not my list, my play style. I don't think brilliant strategist would be necessary for this list. I think I'd rather have the reroll to charge Warlord's right. Yeah. I think that would be... missed two very crucial charges. Yeah, which would have helped a lot. And secondly, I made a big mistake by keeping my Black Knights here when I should have had them here. So yeah. less could shoot them. I was really banking on going first getting the four of them. And I should have just had them, you know, at a line of sight. That was a tactical error on my point, but one I will not make again. Well, look at the damage they wrought upon me just... With half like, the unit there. there was four left. I think four left. They started I shooting. Think I heard six. Yeah, there was four Sorry. left when they started shooting. And if I could have went first at a four up in bone, it, yeah. it would have been yeah, yeah. And that would have been like, all oh, right, well, good game. You know, I don't know what thing. took me so long to paint black knights, but oh. I think I finally have a list. The way I have a storm raven on the way, so I get that painted up as soon as I can. I think I got a, I think I got my dark angels list pretty well understood. But I'm gonna play with more green wing stuff. How about you? What do you think about your list? Would you like? Would you change anything? Uh vehicles just i think you need i think you need uh, it's hard i was i'll just say you need to get a dreadnought drop pod but yeah. the, the heavy flavors only be eight inch really hurts the that that plan. yeah because they drop and go yeah. they yeah. still can't do anything and i mean i wanted to try the excelsior just because i hate little characters running around i, like, I love vehicles. i know I love well, vehicles, right? when, I, when i play my green wing i bring but lots just of vehicles not good. it's a character that can be targeted all the time and it can be stopped by anything from shooting and it's a real big point sink. 470 points as kitted here. You can get more heavy shooting on a three razor back. I can get so more better. More better. For more better. Probably. I would, if anything, I would exchange him for um, like a captain allowing rerolls of ones and just put more aggressors out. Oh my god, the aggressors are so good. so good. So good. And if I had a gun line of them, like I feel I only had three. And the damage they did was impressive. And imagine if I had six, or even like if I could get a group of eight of them or something, it would have been way more effective than this thing was. Yup. Oh my god. So as much as I hate to relinquish having vehicles like that, I, I think that there's no place for them right now. Well, it, it's it's. I've had, not in this scale, two thousand points. I, I I find when I bring my land raiders, it, I, they tend to not get targeted if I bring devastator squads as well, because people yeah. go for. Other, it's 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 I don't know. I've had varying sets with my land raider as well. It's just that in eighth edition you need weight of dice mm -hmm. more than very big expensive things. Like I had two very expensive units, but they both had a crap ton of shooting each. Yeah, and like, was, if you were to ask me, what was the scariest? The whole thing. There was the no, whole thing. Was no waste, right? Well, I put a lot of thought in how to make the list, and mm -hmm. I thought everything is everything is meant to work together, right down to the scouts. Like yeah, they were they were shenanigans in the deployment phase, right down to deployment and scenario. I think I have a pretty decent list here. So what about my army? Did you find scary in general? Okay, so oddly enough, I would say take out the uh, ironclad. Yet it got when it got to my line over here, and we did hammer and anvil. When it got to my line, it was terrifying. I had to, yeah. I had to, I really wanted to go fire at the predator again because the thing is terrifying. But that guy got too close. If you can get those dreadnoughts right in your opponent's face. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's the problem. I feel like the Ironclad, its role is pure melee, but it's it's just too slow. So, my question to you, what did you gain by being, in, in this game, what did you gain by being Dark Angel, or sorry, uh, Ultra Rings? In this particular game, you would probably have been better off being Raven Guard. It would have kept... For sure. I mean, but though, even though I don't really I don't really target that Dreadnought right there, and yeah. I didn't really target this one until I got really close. Maybe you wouldn't gain anything from that either. Salamanders would have been good. It would have been rerolls for the Dreadnought. Yeah. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. 
I just, uh, I, I guess I'm afraid to switch up because I always forget what they do. Should like, I just stick your though, ultramarines? Because when you're playing, when you're theory crafting, you know everything, and when you're in here, you like you forget everything. Oh, a hundred percent. Plus, we're like, goofing um, off and acting like. Children. And I never got a chance. You never killed these except for right now when I conceded to get them to fire again. Yeah. Which. Yeah. I probably could have done the command points and fired and shot them, but can I do that when he's in combat? The, I don't know. The only I was able to get them because. I had a 20 inch move because I had that advance and charge stratagem. Yeah. So that was the only reason I was able to stop him. Once I got him once, uh, he was, it was too hard for him to keep getting away from me. Yeah. And that was like, uh, that charge would not have been really obtainable. Well, it could have been. It would have been like a 10 inch charge without the stratagem. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it wasn't a terrible spot other than the uh, speed of the Raven stratagem. Well, there you go, guys. Dark Angels. The list is evolving. I have like 13,000 points now. And. Um, the lists are still evolving. For, I find that I, I don't talk to you about this yet, but going into eight, that ten thousand point Dark Angels list, our army, um, but I didn't have any of the models I needed to make proper lists. <laughs> yeah, they're all graph. Right? <laughs> well, it's 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 just the way you make your units. And the, like, I, if you want to, I I didn't have Black Knights painted. They were great in seventh, but didn't fit my the way I wanted to play. Mm -hmm. uh, I loved my Deathwing, but I didn't have any Cyclone Mission Launchers left because. Uh, it's a long story, but now with the Deathwing Assault Stratagem, that 10-man squad, you can't get more firepower out of it than two Cyclone Missile Launchers and then 10 Storm Bolters. I didn't even one of them. Not one. No. Not one. Well, because it's hard, to tar it's hard to decide to target them when there's um, 20 wounds, 5 of Binvon, 2 of Armor, and an Apothecary to heal them and bring them Literally. back. And uh, surrounded by them are crazy and, scary stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's a really good list. I like it. I like this list. I think I did a pretty... It's like the tip of a spear. It's great. Yeah. Tip of the sword. sword. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Happy Wargaming. Let's Peace. go get drunk.